The first thing we're going to talk about in discrete math is something called a set. It actually turns out that every mathematical object you've ever encountered before is probably a set. So a set is a collection of objects which are called its elements. You can see here the notation for the statement little x is a member of the set x. Generally, we use lowercase letters to refer to elements, and we use uppercase letters to refer to sets, so that's not necessarily set in stone. So what the sentence says is this says little x is an element of the set x. Some important sets that we're going to want to get used to are the set of natural numbers, which is denoted with this bold face capital N. And the natural numbers are the set of non-negative counting numbers starting with zero. So zero, one, two, three, etc. Once a pattern has been established, we can use ellipses to refer to it. So these are the natural numbers. We also have the integers, which are the positive and negative counting numbers. So that's going to be some ellipses here on the left side to denote the negative continuation. Uh, then we'll have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 to refer to the positive uh, continuation. So these are the integers. And so notice uh, when I have an infinite set or a large finite set with some kind of pattern that I want to show is continuing, I can use ellipses. Um, but unfortunately, I don't always have that kind of pattern. So remember that a prime number is a number that has exactly two factors, one in itself. The first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. This doesn't exhibit quite a nice pattern. Um, they're not all odd. For example, 2 is in here and it's even. Uh, they're not all just two apart. Um, for example, we go from 7 to 11, skipping 9, because 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So the way that sets were rendered up here is called roster notation because the elements of the set are listed out in a roster. When roster notation isn't going to be convenient, uh, we use something called set builder notation. The set of prime numbers can be written as the set of all p such that p is a prime number. So this is called set builder notation. And again, the way that you read this is this is the set of, that's what this opening curly brace refers to, all whatever these elements are called, so in this case P. This line is typically read as such that, and then some description that the uh, elements of the set satisfy. So in this case, P is a prime number. So that's how you read in set builder notation. Uh, here's another example. Let's take the set V of vowels in our alphabet. We'll exclude Y. So we have A, E, I, O, and U. That's in roster notation. And I can write the same set down in set builder notation. V is the set of all stars such that star is a vowel. Notice I used star to refer to the elements of the set instead of a letter because it's kind of confusing to have letters be the elements and also letters be the name of the elements. Uh, so two sets are going to be considered equal if they contain the same elements. So for example, the set AB is equal to the set BA. And the cardinality of a finite set denoted with things that look like absolute value signs, even though they're not this time, is the number of elements it contains. So if X is the set ABC, then the cardinality of X is three because we have one, two, three elements of the set X.